2018 Honda Accord I'm gonna show you how to replace these rear brake pads so if you need to replace the brake pads what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to remove the number 12 right here and number 12 right there so you can use a gear wrench or a ratchet but I have my electric gun here this is to make process easy and fast so I can get you guys this video as fast as possible so that's one and here comes the second bullet There's another ball, that's number 12 also. And after that, we're gonna go back right here, right? This is very important. A lot of people, they'll try to stretch the cable. You don't wanna stretch the cable, right? So right back here, you're gonna see this emergency cable going. There's number 12 right there. So remove that number 12. All right? Make sure you put the same number 12 back in the same place. All right now we're gonna come back this way. We're gonna do this in like 10 minutes or less. And I'll put my light back down here. And what you're gonna do is grab a flathead or a pry bar and pry this caliper out right so that number 12 I took out down there is connected to that cable and you can maneuver this thing around All right next you're gonna need a special tool for this caliper but today I'm gonna show you how to compress this caliper without that special tool right so get a good pry bar like that with a big mouth here All right so all you're gonna do is be careful with that brake line you don't want to pinch it or damage it All right so you wanna just turn it with the pry bar, right? It's gonna take a little bit of work, but you will get that. Once you have one or two turns, after that, it's gonna be nice and smooth, all right? All right, there I have two turns already. And now it's a piece of cake. All right, there you go. Once you know you have the caliper all the way in, make sure this slot is nice and straight, all right? Because the new brake pads have a little metal piece there that goes right into that slot. If you don't have it lined, it's not gonna sit in there. All right, remove this little retainer right here. And you can use your pry bar or flat head, push that brake pad out. Same thing with this one. There you go. All right, and the brake pad, this is the noise you're gonna hear. Just like that. If your brake pads are down below minimum, it's gonna screech against our water. All right. Next, take your wire brush, clean off the hardware kit here because the new brake pad, the customer brought, did not come with it. So you do need to clean it, all right? And then you have the brake pass. It has a new sensor there. So don't want the sensor. It goes on the side and in the bottom. All right, there you go. That's one. And here comes the second brake pad. We have our brake pad, uh, brake caliper compressed already. Don't forget this little guy, it goes right in there. Right, and then we're gonna take this caliper. Push the pins in. We're gonna take the two number 12s. One goes here, make sure it's the same one. It's not the one off the brake cable from the emergency cable. All 
All right, catch the threads first before you tighten it. All right, guys, do it by hand. I'm doing it by electric gun. This is just to show you guys. That's one. And that's two, all right? And then we're gonna go back here again. And we're gonna put the number 12 right here. Alright guys, I got the number 12 in there and all we need to do is tighten that bolt and that's it guys. You see me do with the electric gun, don't do that, just do it with uh, uh, hand tools, a ratchet or gear wrench because the gun is not that strong. That's it, we have the brake pads installed and do subscribe to my channel, share and like all of my videos. Bye bye and I'll see you on the next one.